everyone, Mike Vogel here. And if you watch Evgeny Kuznetsov on the ice for the Washington Capitals, it's hard to believe that two years ago at this time he was still in Russia, still didn't speak very much English, still was not a member of the Washington Capitals. In a very short period of time, he's assimilated quite a bit into the culture here. But today, he shares with us some of the culture, some of the native dishes of his own country, Russia, as we share a special lunch here today with Evgeny Kuznetsov. Well, we got the, some borscht, yeah, this classic, but on the tradition, you have to drink the shot of vodka before you eat borscht. It's like old tradition for old people. And um, they have to bring the bread like, like this. The dark bread, yeah. Yeah, and you put some garlic a little bit. It smells pretty bad after that, but that's good. And you put, of course, sour cream. You were born in Chelyabinsk, yes? What was it like? growing up there. Very hockey town and uh, we got lots of players who born in my hometown and they still playing and uh, some people retired, some people coaches right now. And it's pretty easy to grow up. I live 30 seconds from the, my hockey school. My parents speak the hockey school because if I'm going to hockey, I don't have to cross the streets. So just Safe. some kind of safety, you know? And I have a gym, gymnastics, soccer, and bugs. Everything's around me, but I picked the hockey. What are your earliest memories of, of playing or practicing? How old do you think you were when you started skating and playing hockey? When I'm five years old, I just start. And mom say like probably like after two, three practices and start liking it and just buzzing with the stick like everywhere in the streets. And we grow up a little bit different like people here. So after school, just eat and grab the stick and go and play outside. Play on the street? Yeah, in the street. In the, like in the, the summer time? Yeah, yeah in yeah. the summer. We no, in too. the winter too. Right. Because like six months in the but year. But skating on the streets? Like was no, ice just, or just, yeah, no, street no. hockey? Yeah, street yeah. hockey right. and we make the park, whatever, ball. Right. We have some available ice and uh, on the ring. So some security or people who looking at they, they let you let you get in and we skate sometimes at night sometimes in daytime and when when they see lots of kids coming up they they make in the winter we have a soccer building behind the hockey building and they make the ice for us the kids that you played with when you were growing up and little do you still keep in touch with them are you still friends with them keep in contact with them at all some guys st still play hockey some guys like they they live Still, still live in the same area. I see him once in a while when I can come back home, and uh, they're a little bit older than me, like probably five, six years. But when we grew up, we, we didn't see how old are you. Yeah, sure. We just playing the hockey. We got the team. It's only tough in the, in the summer because when we play soccer, and big guys don't want you grab the small kids, play with with him and all because it's small. And, uh, yeah. That's a tough, tough time. You gotta find the same age with you people. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't playing hockey? What would your job be? What would you be doing for a living? How would you earn money? I don't know. Like, if I look at my, my friends, they're all different. Maybe I will work somewhere, and, but probably my parents show me which way I gotta go after 18, 19 years old and help me with that for sure. And because they always always tell me good words and every morning, whatever. If you like hockey, play hockey. Focus on the hockey. You moved to Omsk when you were 12? Yeah. I think, to for, play. How long did you stay there? Probably some like eight months. A little bit tough time for my, my parents and for me too because when I go to Omsk, I just say like, oh, I don't like here, I want to go new, blah, 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 whatever. I don't know why, but my relationship with the coach, not really good. And he didn't like me, whatever. And he was a very good guy. I saw him a couple years ago and we talked talk a lot, but at that time, I don't know what's happened. And my mom doesn't like when somebody pressure me, whatever, throw the lots of bad words on me, you know, and she always defend me. My father pretty quiet. He never 
say like a word, but once in a while he will say one and he say we gotta go home. At what age were you, do you think, when you um, became aware of the NHL? It's hard because we, we don't have a channel in Russia to show the NHL games, but we were always watching the in YouTube, how guys make the skill, yeah. and I have like five, six friends, and no one have a computer at home, no internet, nothing. And we have a computers club in our building, so you pay like, 25 cents and they let you play like 30 minutes forever and a couple computers have a uh, internet we just wash the cars on the streets and we make some money when we go to the computers club pay for that and look at some goals how guys scoring and uh, later we're going to try to do same moves you know put the put the last name on the, on the back of the Jersey, you know, like, that's a pretty cool time. What, uh, who, who did you like to watch? Most of the time we're just watching the Russian players. Yeah. Like, most of my friends too, they, they just like from Kowalov how, how he skate, you know. Some goals from Ovi, some stick handle from Kowalchak, and we're just trying to do some, some piece of every, from every player. If you ask me a long time ago, I would say Wayne Gretzky for sure, because I just, just kind of, you know, like Bure from Russia and Gretzky from Canada, you know, and you can't like the Bure because 99% guys in the team like him, so you, I just always like to pick another guy. But inside, I like Bure for sure, you know, and most of the time we just put the top 10 goals forever and top 10 plays and because we have like only like half an hour and we won't watch the everything so it's pretty cool. Ocel Yabinsk had a team in the um, uh, Russian Super League and in, in the Continental League and you played for that the, the tractor team right? Like did you go to any of their games when you were smaller? Like 14, 15 years old? Yeah I, I tried to like most time go and watch the practice watch the games and then they make the Super League, win the second league and make the Super League. And th that year I went to every game, every game. And next year I make the, make the training camp. That's when the Nazi come and take some, some couple young guys. And I was 16 or 17 years old kid. He told me we gotta go to Finland in training camp. I can't even fly without my parents because that's the rules in Russia. If you're under 18, you have to make special paper. Yeah, okay, and we make the special paper on Nazi. So, all teams stay in the lane. And I go with Nazi, like his son, you know? <laughs> the passport control. He make the paper and show me, and I sit always first in the bus, you know, everywhere. I just walk with him because if I last, he got problem, so he always like, hey Kuz, you okay, are you okay? It's like, I just very appreciated to him, you know, and, uh, that, that two, three years when I worked with uh, Nazarov, that's big piece in my heart. He will throw some bad words on you, but he's a coach. he always wants to be you better, and like, he, he say a couple of good words. He tell me I will, I will play in NHL for sure, 100%. I just smile and wave at like, come on. He say, no, 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 it's coming, don't worry. Just play the hockey, you know.